Yeah, we're at Huang Sha Aquatic Products Market. I mean, one of the biggest wholesalers of seafood in China. Just keep walking. It gets busy in the middle of the night because that's when uh, the products get delivered. And then uh, the restaurants, uh, the buyers come to the market to get their products. During the day, nobody comes, I mean, except for people buying for their home house. Let me quickly introduce you, Rick. Hi, guys. Rick is the, my partner in the logistics, and he can do way more than the logistics. So he kindly uh, gave me the gift his afternoon today. It's a uh, weekend afternoon, so we are going to walk around and take all these pictures. Yeah, take a look at this. Nice. He's a seafood from around the world. You got the Alaskan crab, the Joe duck from Vancouver, right? The tiger shrimp from Thailand, the Bostonian lobster from uh, Nova Scotia. I don't know. Do We get a salmon from Norway. All right, it's all a world swap. I guess this market a, uh, exists already for years. No, I think it's like the last 20, 25, 30 years. It's been here for a long time. I mean, products from all around the world comes here. And then the Storages are inside, we'll walk inside. These are from Norway. Coming from Norway. Uh, the rate is one euro is about eight points. So say 70 is 10 US dollars. This will cost $10 US. Just slightly above 10. All right. Let's walk inside the market. It's much cooler. See, these are the stow crabs from um, near the north part of uh, Vladivostok, from Nova Scotia, from Boston. I, I eat seafood all the time, so I know this is from Vancouver. Just keep walking. Keep going all the way to the end. Nice bass. They're all alive. And then they get shipped across all over around.
bring you where the big players are. Let's go across. The big players are over there. Like. This is the market, in your oh. opinion. Every day, I think they're doing like 30, 40 million US turnover. Daily, 30, 40 million. Daily. 30, 40, 40 million. This is, this is where the big boys are. These are the expensive ones, the traps, the lobsters. I mean, I mean, people are replenishing the stock. Everything is sold then at night. That's, you know, at night when the aircraft comes in, customs gets clear. And everything will be filled. I mean, now it's all sold out. Everything sold out. At night, it'll be filled up again. All right. Easily, I mean. You know how expensive these are. Yeah. I mean, easily, they fill it up. It's 200,000 US. All right. They're also the restaurants, you know. Um, occasionally, you get the moms and pops coming to the market to buy, but you all go to wholesale. Mm -hmm. To all the restaurants throughout China. But uh, there should be also some uh, extra delivery service, right? Everything is consolidated here. Okay. Right? I mean, it comes from the airport, comes directly to here. I mean, from all around the world. Right. And they got the lobsters, these are Asian lobsters. Lobsters from Cuba, from Africa, from all around the world. This is from China. This is I I guess it was uh, shut down uh, during the COVID. Not exactly. It was kind of monitored, regulated. So okay. they took a hit, but I mean, these are, how do you say? Because it's food. It's food, yeah. You need food every day, right? Yeah. We see these are wholesalers, right? If you go on a, on a outside retail. Wow, look at this. Look at this. This is coming direct from Vancouver. Something like this, but on our dinner, I think it'll be like six, seven hundred dollars US. US. Yes. These are very expensive Alaskan crabs. Okay. Right. Go walk around. What is right? It's where we shop. Okay. And there's a lot of orders every day. I mean, people are following orders. <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean, during the night, you'll see all kinds of trucks unloading all kinds of cargo. And then the restaurants will come in around 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning, and that will spread out to the whole China. The volume here is ridiculous. Pasta, this is all, on the, on, on, you know. You buy retail, you negotiate, you know. But later I'll buy some stuff to bring it home. All right. Or oh, we later we can buy some food and they can cook for us here. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow, unbelievable. Well, but later on, and the, what the Japanese are doing right now, I, I don't think was like the seafood industry will actually uh, be hit. Yeah, by the way, let me remind you that uh -huh. we are making the video right at the time when uh, Japan announced that they're going to throw in the world ocean the uh, water from the... Uh, the nuclear plant. Yes, and... Uh, Let's go this way. And the, everyone gets worried about the It'll be impacted. seafood quality and about how safe it's going to be, that how many people will lose their job. Let's go this way. See the trucks coming in. At this time, there's not no, no buying and selling. Around this time, the buying and selling takes, I mean, comes at night, 10 o'clock. But, but I think at night we can even not walk here. It's no, 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 no. It's just trucks coming in, picking up orders, leaving. So on and so forth, I mean. Ricky, I guess that you agree with me that this industry cannot survive without the logistics. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we need coaching logistics. Hello! That's a huge lobster. That's a huge lobster. But it will not taste good. You know why? The, the meat is too... Um, hard. Yeah. Unbelievable here. It's also a very hot summer day. But, and it's all basically right now is uh, the resting time. Yeah. And uh, things really pick up at night. I should also make an uh, important notice that it is very clean and it's no smell around of the fish. So it's all uh, provided in a very good condition. There's no specific uh, smell of the fish. Yes, there is a, a smell, but not terrible smell. These are from Mexico or Canada. It's unbelievable. Look at this. What a size. Yeah. You know, when you go to the supermarket and it's fancy, everything's from here. Then we repackage it and bring it to the supermarket and it looks really fancy. Oh. 
Uh, these are cut by farmers and then probably sold here. This is a huge market. It's unbelievable. Uh, uh, like I said, it picks up at night. You know. This market basically operates 24 hours a day, but it really picks up at, at night, All right? Oh, why they so big? Because it's deep in the water. Okay. <laughs> you have a trawler, a sea trawler, scavenges, you know, digs everything out. This way. Fish yet. That's a nice grouper. That's a nice grouper. All right. Now, what do you want to do? Uh, Wanna try something here, local something? Let's look for a shop. I'll okay. shop for it. So, I think uh, we definitely want to try some lobsters, I guess. Okay. Uh, we can try some uh, boosters. Yep, lobs is good. And then uh, it's up to you. I would take something simple, it's lunch. You know, and to go overboard. Uh, I mean, like, <laughs> we're gonna have dinner tonight, so. Okay, this is what they do. When they ship lobsters from North America to China, uh, they just shake the lobster until it faints, and then they put it in the package, and they put these kind of, what they call a straws, from, from wood, from wood. Yeah. and then somehow the lobster survives for the next 48 or 72 hours. Okay. I need to you've find seen, out. You've seen packaging of lobsters, yeah, 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 but yeah. they're putting them in, in North America, they're putting them in these wooden straws. All right. Laying them on top. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we come at night and we get lucky, you can even see the shipping labels on, on these cartons. Air Canada or whatever, China Southern. I think at this point I'm going to finish part one and we walk to make some purchases for our lunch and then I will make the part two. Thank you for watching, subscribe and uh, follow our channel to know more about the logistics, food, seafood and uh, flowers.